Kiske wants to know how does the divorce rate for foreign marriages compare to the regular U.S. divorce rate? So the studies that have been done, and again, um, the Justice Department did a study, others have done studies, and it normally shows that the divorce rate for intercultural marriages, the marriages that we get involved with, are normally much less than the divorce rate, um, the U.S. divorce rate, right? The U.S. divorce rate's hovering depending on who you ask um, and how long that marriage was, right? So when does that actually count? But the divorce rate's hovering right around 50% or so. And for intercultural marriages, it's less. I don't know exactly how much less, but from what I've been told from the different studies that I've seen, it is less. Um, and I think there's reasons for that. First of all, I know many couples that have been married for many, many years that have met through us. I know this is just anecdotal, right? That's just me. But I see it out there and I see these couples staying together. I mean, yes, I hear about divorces, obviously. I'm gonna hear that. Unfortunately, it's gonna happen. But I also see so many couples that are staying together. We've been doing this now for a long time, 25 years. So we have many couples that have been married for a long time. I mean, take my marriage, for example, uh, 23 years. Well excuse me, 21 years. We met 23 years ago, been married now for over 21 years. Um, and we met at a social just like this in St. Petersburg, Russia. Um, it was amazing. It was love at first sight for me. And after a few glasses of champagne for Tanya, it was love at first sight for Tanya. <clears throat> Poor Tanya. So, uh, yeah, I just think that the divorce rate is less because I think the men and the women are putting a lot more effort into this. Um, I mean, look at what you guys are doing right now. On a Monday evening, you're on this webcast, watching this, listening to me, trying to get more information. There's probably better things you could be doing than this right now, but this is something that's important to you. So you're spending the time, you're doing your due diligence to try to find that right match for you. And I think that's great. Then the women themselves, they are actually reaching out and they're trying to find a different option, a better option than what they have in their city, in their state or wherever they live, right? And so they're trying to find a better option for it. So they're putting a lot more effort into finding Mr. Wright. You're putting a lot more effort in finding Mrs. Wright. By doing that, I think it really does um, show that these marriages tend to last longer. Um, there's just a lot more effort that goes into these. You're just not marrying you know, the woman down at the corner bar. You're really going halfway around the world to find that right person. And I think that speaks volumes to why these marriages tend to last a little bit longer. Um, that one special woman to complete your life? Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. Check out our website at If you enjoyed this video or want more information, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel.